Good day to you all, Codge Biker here. Oh, look, I've got mirrors. I will be with you again. Yes, it's New Year's Day. So I don't know when this video will go out, but anyway, I decided it was time for a nice ride out. Temperature here is about 14 degrees. I think it's the warmest New Year's Day I can remember. Sun is shining and uh, sick of being stuck in the house. Like many of you, I got a new GoPro for Christmas. That's my Christmas present, which is the GoPro Hero 10 Black. I've resisted changing for quite a while now, but uh, I've bitten the bullet, so just do a little bit of a comparison to previous cameras that I've had specifically for motor vlogging. One thing I can tell you about this camera that I don't like straight away is it has no 2.7 30 frames per second which was my default recording for the last couple of years and using the memory cards that I use I could get 10 hours of that on a memory card so I'm uh, in basic 4k 30 while I'm waiting to uh, get to the junction I'll just do an audio test let us go then, you and I, when the evening spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. That's a poem about a famous codger, quite apt. So I'm not sure what the audio is like, but I'm using exactly the same microphone that I've used on my GoPro Hero 7 for quite a while. And it plugs, plugged it straight into the, uh, the mod. So hopefully it's working. I suppose I'll find out when I get back. If it isn't, you'll never see this. One of the reasons why I resisted upgrading for so long was um, I rather like the way the GoPro Hero 7 was pretty foolproof. I know a lot of people didn't like the external um, audio card interface thingy -o, but it was okay. You could stick it to the side of your crash helmet or put it in a Ulanzi mount, which is what I did. I had put mirrors back on my bike because I found with the GoPro Hero 7 I could trust it, I knew it was on or whether it wasn't on, but I thought this I'd need to keep checking in the mirror like that. But um, one good thing is because this is a bit taller, I can actually see the red LED if I look down. It's not in my line of sight or, it, or field of view in any way, but I can see it, so I know it's on. So that's a good thing. I don't need these mirrors, I can put my other mirrors back on doesn't feel any heavier, doesn't feel any different to the other camera. Nice big button on the top to turn it on and off. So for that point of view, it is uh, quite good. One thing I did notice, just charging it up and playing around with it on Christmas Day, is it does get very hot. Now that's probably not going to be a, an issue for outdoor motor vlogging, but um, I don't remember the GoPro Hero 7 ever feeling as hot as this one does, even after a few minutes of messing around. It's got a much more powerful processor in it. I noticed the batteries are a lot bigger, but they don't seem to be rated to last any longer, so there's obviously a lot more going on. Whereas with the GoPro 7, I had about six batteries. With this, I've only got two, so... I'll go out recording a full day's footage it's not going to be possible at the moment. I suppose I could drop it down to 1080 and try that. I was watching Million Dollar Bogan and he was saying, oh, I only record in 1080. Most people only watch it on a phone. Maybe some truth in that. Oh look, fuel, £1.44.9 a litre. Anyhow, still riding around on the bike with uh, a Dyna plug in the tyre. Well, two Dyna plugs actually, and it hasn't gone down at all. In fact, the front tyre went down a little bit more than the back. <laughs> Just be uh, changing temperature, it's very, been quite a cold snap. 
and um, the tyres naturally do go down. So I've done a few hundred miles on it and it's still working. I, I do fully intend to take it to the garage and get it fixed but uh, anyway so I'd report that back some people might like to know I think the secret's probably to trim it off against the uh, tread inside so that it doesn't get pulled out by the road anyhow over the years I've had a ghost uh, camera which was very good for audio one of the things that's underrated on uh, cameras I think is the audio and the ghost audio is very good and the battery life was superb on it but uh, it had no stabilisation and uh, the one I had was 1080 only and I believe the 4K one was a bit buggy and uh, the, st the stabilisation was never very good on those. So after that I had an Acaso which was a cheap GoPro clone which had some stabilisation but the lens wasn't very good on it. Cheap batteries, reasonable battery life, audio was okay, plug a uh, microphone straight into it but uh, the quality of the images wasn't brilliant and the stabilisation wasn't brilliant so then I went on to GoPro Hero 7 which I bought just before the GoPro Hero 8 came out intentionally because I knew it had been tested and um, it was cheaper I've got two of those and I've used them ever since, been brilliant they have a couple of bugs sometimes when you charge them up it doesn't start straight away and you have to take the battery out and back in and then it will start okay for the rest of the day and funny enough this GoPro Hero 10 after it's been charged up it wouldn't start I had to take the battery out put it back in again and then it seems to be okay so that seems to be common at least to my cameras don't know if anyone else has found that once it's working it seems to be okay you know, as it'll stop and start all day long. It's just that initial quick start. Sometimes there's nothing, it's as though it's dead. And I have to take the battery out and put it back in again. That was certainly the case on the Hero 7 and so far I've noticed it also on this uh, Hero 10. Maybe it's just me. So nice to be out on the bike. I've been out for quite a long time actually. There's Christmas and bad weather. One thing I do think that most people who do motor vlogging on a motorcycle would appreciate at some point in time, not that anyone's uh, probably listening to me but I'll say it anyway as somebody who does a lot of it why don't they build in a Bluetooth microphone receiver into the camera so that you can just fit a Bluetooth mic into your helmet or even just use your comms I've got comms on this use the comms Bluetooth seems so obvious to me but um, doubtless there's some protocol issues with different types of headset maybe I don't know or perhaps motorcycle vlogging just doesn't justify the investment it'd certainly be a good way of doing it it just recorded your um, Bluetooth headset as the audio track rather than having to plug in a separate microphone maybe one day we all want the moon on a stick don't we to think that we've got the equivalent of um, a film crew strapped to the front of your helmet it's incredible really we really do live in the future I mean that 360 camera there is an amazing device although I sometimes have issues with that shutting down when the battery isn't flat and I've renewed the firmware and done everything with it but it still seems to do it when it's working fantastic okay I'm gonna have a, a ride around 
I'll probably add to this and um, put some sort of results of what the footage looks like in its basic 4K 30 when I get back. I know there's plenty of other people done it, but I'm particularly interested in using it and how I use it, which is just for motor vlogging. I could say that at reasonable speeds, I haven't noticed any more drag on the helmet than usual. It doesn't feel any heavier. I'll put the weight of both of them in here somewhere. So from the point of view of usage, so far, it seems as easy to use, as easy to attach to the helmet more or less, as the uh, Hero 7 Black. I noticed that the, um, the screw doesn't quite reach out far enough, it's a little bit tricky to tighten up, which might be an issue when it comes to changing batteries out in the field etc, but um, it's all I've, the only real gripe so far that I've noticed. Doubtless if there are any more, I will add them to the end of this video. Beautiful sunny day. Lens flare anyone? Hello field. Oh, where's your beans gone? All your beans have gone. What have you got now? Winter wheat? Oh, that's good. Nice bit of variety. Bit of flooding going on there goes to prove all the rain I was on about. It's lovely today though, isn't it? Okay, you get growing. I'll see you again soon. That camera crashed again and uh, then came on for something, I don't know what it said, now it started up again. Cannot figure that 361 times 2 out at all. The 1R I had never did that. This one's been a, a nuisance since the day I got it. Uh, it's great when it works. And yes, it's got the latest firmware, extra batteries, V30 SD cards. Uh, Extreme Pro, whatever they're called. And yet, it fails quite often. There's a traditional old Liverpool club, the Baltic Fleet, but that's old. But that could tell some tales. Oh, this is the famous Liverpool Albert Dock. The camera's still working, so we'll keep going. Sun's very bright. Thank goodness I've got a peak on my crash helmet. Here uh, is the Beatles Museum. Looks like it's uh, having a bit of a clean. Go on. Sun is very bright. Oh well, there's the Mersey at sunset. this camera can shoot in that light it's achieving something because I can barely see it so low the Sun and it's reflecting off the river as well so that was the Albert dock and the surrounding uh, buildings there's the one of the Liverpool cathedrals there Look, you see it Pad uh, not Paddy's wig one the gothic one and so we turn for home, and the camera is still working. Of course, further problems will come, I guess, when it comes to editing, because I generally edit in 2.7, so uh, I've got a reasonably powerful computer. It handles the 5K of the uh, 1X when it works, so let's hope um, when it comes to putting this video together, it can handle it. Otherwise you end up having to buy a new computer as well. Hey, it's not easy being a motor vlogger, even one as humble as me. <laughs> you change your camera, then you have to change all your batteries, then you have to change all your SD cards, then you have to upgrade your computer or buy a new computer. You do all that, you upload your footage, and YouTube gets all the money. 
very clever YouTubers. Oh yeah. Still recording though, which is good, you know, so far this is uh, proven to be quite good. So I switched the camera on as soon as I set off. I'm on the same battery. Been out for, been out for a little while, over an hour anyway. And um, as far as I could tell, it's still recording. It's handy that I can see the little LED just by looking down at uh, the dash. It's in the same field of view as when I look down at my speedo. Okay, well on that note, as the sun sets over the Mersey, Codger Biker is out. But I will leave the camera running so that um, I can report back how long it actually lasted for on one charge, 4K30. See ya, when I wanna be ya.